comparing batteries, researchers frequently count the number of full cycles the battery can withstand until just 80% of its initial energy content is left. Elon Musk claims that the primary factor limiting the lifespan of electric vehicles is the battery packs. According to him, the Tesla Model 3 drive unit is rated for 1 million miles in 2019, but the battery only lasts for roughly 1,500 charge cycles, or 300,000 to 500,000 miles. Although energy density and battery longevity enhancements seem to be the most important concerns, there are geopolitical and environmental difficulties related to present lithium-ion batteries that are just as important, if not more so, to resolve in order to create the batteries of the future. The Democratic Republic of the Congo is home to the element cobalt, which is also vital to modern technology. The greatest producer in the world's mining sector is frequently made up of rival rebel factions that utilize child labor, export goods that are unlawfully, and actively finance armed conflict in the area. Furthermore, the camps frequently foster environments that encourage deforestation and a variety of human rights violations. In order to meet the anticipated surge in demand for electric vehicles in the upcoming decades, improved batteries that are more affordable, long-lasting, sturdy, and efficient will need to be developed. To make sure batteries are viable in a more electrified future, we also need to address the challenges of political and environmental sustainability. Following September 22, Tesla's eagerly anticipated battery day, several questions were addressed. Larger tables, 4,680 battery cells, with better energy density, easier production, and a price tag were unveiled by the Palo Alto automaker. The king-size cells use a modified design that does away with the tabs that are typically included in lithium-ion batteries and transfer the energy stored in the cell to an external source. Instead, Tesla essentially used this shingled spiral to enable dozens of connections into the active material by laser powdering the already existing foils. Batteries are commonplace in the electrically powered, globally interconnected world of today. Most likely the device you're using to watch this movie on is battery operated. Do you have a short battery life? What if you could go a whole month without having to charge your phone? Imagine having an electric car with a 1 million mile range 1,000 miles on a single charge, and 10 minutes of charging time. We collaborated to create this video. We also collaborated with a team of scientists to sort through the most recent battery research and identify the most promising new technologies in terms of performance, economy, and usefulness. It was not until after Tesla's battery day that this footage was made public. Thermal problems are resolved and the production process is made simpler by this more effective cell design. Along with improved silicon battery chemistry that stabilizes the surface with an elastic ion conducting polymer covering to enable a higher percentage of inexpensive commodified silicon to be used in cell manufacturing, Tesla also introduced high nickel cathodes that do away with the requirement for cobalt. Together, these modifications are anticipated to improve Tesla's cost per kilowatt hour by 56% while the new 4,680 cells are anticipated to boost power, range, and energy storage by five times, 16%, and six times, respectively. With the support of the upgraded cell design, Tesla intends to reach its production target of three terawatt hours annually by 2030 and contribute to the global shift toward the most recent long-distance electric vehicles. The world is paying more attention to batteries than it has in the past after Tesla's recent battery day. However, Tesla isn't the sole attraction in town. We're going to look at five fascinating new battery technologies that have the potential to revolutionize everything in the video that follows. There have long been metal air batteries. A tiny zinc air button cell, for instance, may be found in a hearing aid. However, the automotive and aerospace industries also hold promise for enhanced aluminum and lithium air chemistries. This battery technology is interesting because it has the ability to produce lightweight batteries with great energy storage. The maximum theoretical specific energy of lithium air batteries is 3,460 watt hours per kilogram, which is nearly 10 times greater than that of lithium ion batteries. Practical battery packs would most likely start out closer to 1,000 watt hours per kilogram, which is still three to five times more than what lithium ion batteries are capable of. This technology is not without its limitations as usual. After just a few tens of cycles, 
Lithium salts have a tendency to block the current electrodes of lithium air batteries. Porous carbon forms are being used by most researchers to allow air to get through to the liquid electrolytes. One way to solve this is to feed the batteries just pure oxygen. In order to consider their announcements and to get the most accurate picture of the current status of batteries. Present-day electric cars nearly always employ lithium-ion batteries. Although they have a respectable amount of energy storage, they are ultimately heavy and take a while to charge. Even worse compared to the batteries present in most electric vehicles, the energy density of disintegrating organisms that have been destructively removed from the Earth is still more than a hundred times higher. One kilogram of lithium-ion battery packs has only 0.3 megajoules of energy, compared to around 48 megajoules of energy in one kilogram of gasoline. Porous carbon forms are being used by most researchers to allow air to get through to the liquid electrolytes. One way to solve the problem is to provide pure oxygen to the batteries, but doing so in an automobile could be dangerous. The University of Illinois study team discovered that by employing the libdanum dusulfide nanoflakes to accelerate the production of a thin layer of lithium peroxide on the electrodes, they could prevent this clogging. In contrast, a similar battery with an uncoated electrode only lasted 11 cycles over their test battery's 700 cycles. Even if an automobile can't live that long, this is a positive sign of things to come. Later on, more about nanotechnology. Researchers at NASA have also been examining lithium air batteries for potential application in airplanes. Or after their research cell is perfected, they anticipate having a power density of approximately 800 to 900 watt hours per kilogram, which will be sufficient to meet the high power needs of takeoff. However, they are also having issues with short battery life. To them, the answers will essentially come down to making the electrolyte better. Researchers said, from an organic chemistry perspective, the challenge of lithium oxygen is that you're basically asking electrolyte to face many of the harshest reactive oxygen species possible in an interview with Chemical and Engineering News. In order to increase battery longevity and cyclability, they are currently looking various molting salt electrolytes and intend to continue their study into solid state options in the future, even while there is still a long way to go before you take an electric passenger plane for business travel, the prospect of such high specific energy will pique academics curiosity for some time to come, thanks to the encouraging developments of the past few years. Although it has been a term for a few decades, nanotechnology is now being used in body armor, extra slippery clothes, ironing, biomechanical engineering, and nanoelectronics. Particles and structures between 1 to 100 nanometers in size are used in nanomaterials, which are effectively one size larger than molecules. Because of their small size, which creates a bridge between what operates under the principles of quantum physics and our familiar macro, they behave in ways that are uncommon, which is what makes them magical. The physical growth of lithium electrodes while charging has been observed to be one of the problems in battery design. Antimony nanochain electrodes were used by Purdue University researchers last year to demonstrate how this material can take the place of graphite or carbon metal composite electrodes. Extreme expansion within the electrode can be accommodated by arranging the metalloid element in this nanochain net structure as it leaves a web of empty pores. Over the course of the 100 charge cycles tested, the battery doesn't seem to deteriorate and charges quickly. Carbon nanostructures are very promising as well. Among these, graphene is the most promising. One atomic thick graphite sheet makes up graphene, and it turns out that this material has some quite intriguing electrical indicates that in the presence of an electric field, such as that found within a battery, electrons are transferred along it quickly. In addition, it possesses remarkable mechanical strength, roughly 200 times stronger than steel, and is thermally conductive. Spanish nanotechnology startup Grabat is investigating metallic lithium anodes with graphene polymer cathodes, which might be a very powerful combo provided their electrolyte can sufficiently shield the metallic anode and stop dendritic development. Compared to existing technologies, this battery promises to be more durable and lightweight with a higher energy capacity and faster charging and discharging rates. Samsung has a technology called graphene balls that they have patented. These are silicon oxide nanoparticles that have popcorn-like graphene sheets coating them. These are applied in a way that serves as the cathode, 
The ingenious aspect is that, similar to how trees swell with leaves in the spring, but the forest stays the same size, these finger-like extensions are permeable on both a micro and macro scale, allowing them to grow freely without significantly expanding the entire electrode. Because Amperius just relocated their offices in close proximity to a Tesla factory, some internet users came to the conclusion that the company had recently been acquired by Tesla. However, Elon Musk refuted these assertions on Twitter, writing, but nothing really. I was shocked to learn that adding silicon to carbon might make sense over there, across the street. We already carry it out. What is the exact silicon to carbon ratio, and what form is the question?